We have a special treat for you today. We're in a beautiful new community and we are going to take you through two of the most affordable new construction homes here in the Treasure Valley, Idaho. And the one thing you are not gonna wanna miss is the price point and the taxes on these two homes are going to blow your mind. I will give you a little hint. They are way more affordable than what you think and the taxes are going to save you so much money. So first, Rachel's gonna walk you through the first house and then secondly, she's gonna walk you through this house that is four beds plus a bonus, two levels. The floor plan is gonna blow your mind. There is so much space in this house that's perfect for you and your family. But before we do that, we're gonna walk you through a single level home and then we are gonna show you guys how much these houses are gonna cost you. So let's get into the first one. Very excited to take you into house number one. Let's get this camera turned around because I know you want to see this home and not me. First things first, look how pretty this door color is. CBH always is very tasteful with their color selections. I believe it's one of the reasons why they hold the value of their homes so well. Check out this. I think this is some very pretty luxury vinyl plank and you probably can't see in the camera, but again, very tasteful texture selection. It looks like they went with a Santa Fe. All right, boom. Nice high ceilings, so you feel like you have plenty of space in here. I know everyone wants to see the kitchen first, so let's get you into this kitchen. Beautiful, modern cabinetry selections. Let's see if they are soft clothes. Yes, they are. I'm gonna take a look because believe it or not, some of the companies will do the drawers, but not the uppers. Yep, also soft clothes and they had shelving already in there. We've got an electric stove top. Do you like the electric stove top because it's easier to clean or are you more of a gas person? Put that in the comments below. We've got the microwave with the vents. Suck out all the smoke so you don't smoke yourself out if you're frying some chicken. You will notice that there is no refrigerator right here. Now with CBH and many of the other builders, they do not include the refrigerator. With that being said, there are some different incentives offered month to month that can allow you to get things like your refrigerator. Oftentimes they won't include uh, things like backyard landscaping. Let's see the pantry. It has lighting and shelves. You would be surprised. Not everybody includes that. So CBH just creates a very, very functional home with beautiful, easy to decorate colors. I also really enjoy this tile backsplash. Beautiful sink and check this out. When I take you in the backyard, you're going to see the view out that window. It is lovely. We've got our dishwasher right there and there is room at this island for a couple stools. Dining room, this is a very large area. You can put a very big table in there, uh, plenty of room for everyone to eat. Let's take you back down this way first and show you the primary because that's the second favorite thing that everyone likes to see. Lots of shelving and space with storage. Here we have your laundry room. Let's get you into this primary. So first thing I notice is that there is plenty of natural light in here. I know you're not gonna get a gauge on this size, but I'm guessing 14 by 14. Let's see what the bathroom is like. They've carried the same cabinetry and hardware throughout the entire house, which is really nice. Double sinks some very pretty hardware and fixtures in here. I really like that they put the shelving in here for towels or decor. And then right here, we've got the shower. So my favorite kind of shower living here in Idaho where there is hard water are these inserts. They are much easier to clean than tile with grout and more affordable. So it's kind of a win-win because it's gonna save you some money and it's gonna be easier to clean. And I really love that. Who doesn't like saving time on cleaning, right? And money. We've got a big walk-in closet with shelving on both sides. There we go. And then when we make our way back out the primary, I will take you quickly into the garage just to give you a look. Like I mentioned, this is a three-car garage. Oh, that's not the garage. 
That's the utility closet. Back down this way into the garage. Nice big garage for all of the toys that you're gonna wanna acquire when you move to Idaho. It looks like we've got installed garage door openers, two of them, not all builders do that. Right here, this is for pressurized water so that you can control your water pressure. Down here, they do have some plumbing ready to go for a water softener. I know I mentioned it, but here in Idaho, the water is incredibly hard and that is something you're going to want to look into. It also improves the longevity of all of your appliances and it helps so that your hair doesn't become dry and brittle and break off or your skin develop rashes. It definitely happens. Let's see this backyard. This is beautiful with the views. Now, obviously not every lot is going to have a view like this. And I know eventually they will be building back here. I'm not sure how much of the view it's going to cut off because we are a little elevated, but this community in particular is going to have vinyl fencing throughout unless you are on a walkway like this. And then you will get this fence. They say it's included. I personally think it's baked into the price. And then your vinyl fencing is going to be a little bit lower when you sit along a walking path like this. Another thing that's typically not included with CBH homes is backyard landscaping. Currently, if you give us a call right now, we can get you incentives that will help cover the cost of that landscaping as well as the refrigerator and blinds. Blinds are another thing. I just really enjoy the fixtures they picked. So if you're into that modern farmhouse, this house is a great choice for you. Okay, so you're gonna have to let us know in the comments below, what do you think the price point of this house is? Like I said, four bed, two bath, three car garage, just over 2000 square feet. Let us know. We will speed the music up and show you these bedrooms, second bathroom, and then meet you over at the next location. We are going to jump into the CBH website and take a look at the map, exactly where this community is located, discuss some of the amenities and a little bit about the location. Let me go ahead and share my screen with you. So here we have the community memory ranch and you'll see the blue pin with the little gold house right here in the center. This is where it's located. So the actual address is in Meridian, Idaho, but it falls within CUNA city limits. And I'm going to take a quick zoom out so you can kind of see where exactly it's situated in relation to Boise. And let me move a little further out so you can actually see. So we got Nampa right here where the little hand is, Caldwell, Marcin. So it's an awesome location. If you are someone who wants to feel like you're away from the hustle and bustle of it all and experience some more tranquility, but be incredibly close to everything that you would need to access as far as groceries and schools, the airport, the major cities, this location is perfect. You can see in yellow here, the 84 freeway. That's kind of our one major freeway and that will get you pretty much everywhere you need to go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on the map so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, just literally a hop, skip and a jump away kind of from everything. You're not too far from the village at Meridian, which is our main shopping center, beautiful outdoor with water fountains, and they've got ice skating in the winter, all sorts of community events there, a massive shield that's opening actually this weekend, which is about 10 minutes from this community. This location is pretty incredible. A few of you may have heard me speak in the past about CBH and what makes their home so affordable. And one of the ways they typically keep their price point down is that they will utilize the green space in a way that is more friendly to you, the buyer. So they'll keep it pretty green with grass and maybe a picnic bench here and there or a small playground. And that's typically it. Memory Ranch is really unique in that they are going to include a pool along with the walking paths and the common areas. 
and then all the houses are going to have vinyl fencing. So that is quite an upgrade for the CBH communities and the price points haven't changed much. If I just shoot down here, you can kind of get a good look at what the available homes look like. Now, CBH, uh, if you walk on site without an agent, you will end up working with one of their agents. This is something we call dual representation. And when this happens, you end up being represented essentially by your opponent's attorney, which the attorney might not have, you know, anything against you, but in reality, they're looking out for their client. And we would never recommend that you go to court and use your opponent's attorney. And in this case, we don't recommend that you show up to the CBH site and use one of their agents. It does pre present to you as if they're there for customer service. And there's a lot of times where you think you're going to end up with a better deal, but the reality is the commissions are baked into the price of the home and they will pay us for our services. And I would very much advise that you reach out to us via phone, text, or email prior to going and touring these communities. Um, they do have quite a bit of information on their website. I really like the CBH sites, but with that being said, let's go to that last home. Okay, now we're about to go into the baller house. This is a larger two-story house than the last, but I have a special treat for you. My husband, Jesse, is going to take you through this house. I think it's good to have two sets of eyes on everything because it gives you two different perspectives. So the world famous Jesse Dow. Right, as Rachel said, I'm gonna take you guys through this beautiful house behind me. I love this thing. It is four beds plus a bonus, 2,500 square feet, and it is the most expensive house in the community, but don't let that deter you because the price is going to shock you. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you guys exactly what this house looks like and some features that I really appreciate. So first off, you're gonna notice it's beautiful outside, and this house is what I would call a modern farmhouse. So you got the white pillars, the white and gray color features, and it's got the grid lined windows with the shutters. So the other thing you're gonna notice about this house that I really enjoy is that it has a front porch. Not a lot of houses being built today have front porches. So you could put a swing out here, toys, anything you really desire. We're gonna walk right into the door, through the door here, and you're gonna come right into the living room and you're gonna see the beautiful luxury vinyl plank flooring. I'm gonna spin this around so you can get a good view. That's out the front window, which you have your front porch and the neighbor's houses look really nice as well. So you're not looking at any eyesores. Everyone's house is nicely upkept. And we're gonna cruise right in through the living room. You can see that it's got nice carpet. It feels plush to me. And the ceiling height's about eight feet. You got your ceiling fan and you're gonna spin right around into the, the kitchen. Now, right off the bat, what do you guys notice differently about this one? versus the previous one, besides the blue tape and the unfinished work. And the reason that it's like this is because this house is about two weeks from completion, but it's the one that they had that was most completed that we could walk through and showcase today. So you're gonna notice right off the gate, it's got the modern style cabinets, it's got the quartz upgraded countertops, and it's got the stainless steel appliance package. I also noticed that the fixtures in this house are a little bit of an upgrade versus the last home. Now let's give this the Jesse test. Does it soft close? Boom. I think this is a standard feature every builder should include, but they don't. What is your thoughts? Do you think every builder should include soft close cabinets? There's another thing in this house that I think every builder should include that this one does that a lot of them don't. Now look at this full height backsplash around the kitchen. The last home did not have that. Is that something that you guys feel is worth the money? And like I said, I'm gonna tell you guys the price of this home here in a minute, but I really think the full height black splash makes this kitchen feel a little bit taller and it's got the single bowl sink. Now, Rachel and I talk about this all the time. Do we like the single bowl or the double bowl? Rachel says that she likes the double bowl for preparing foods and whatnot. I like the single bowl because it fits big pans and you can get a grate in here. I also think if you're preparing food, you could put a grate in there and have enough space. I don't know. What's your thoughts? Do you guys like single or double? I also like that the sink drain is off-centered, so that way you have all of this room to work over here and it's not everything trying to meet in the middle. We've had both, and I think the single bowl wins every single time. You're also gonna notice that this house does not have a fridge. This builder does not include a fridge, blinds, landscaping, fence, 
or washer and dryer. However, they run incentives all the time. And this month, the incentives are based on the purchase price of the home, which on this house specifically, it would include landscaping, blinds, washer and dryer, and fridge. Now you're also gonna notice some patchwork. Now this is normal. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna come in and patch this section and then they'll retexture it. It looks like they already did that. And then they're gonna repaint it. And that's just because they have a little bit of uh, finish work to do and they're about two weeks away. And if you were to purchase a home like this, we would also do our own inspections and our own blue tape walkthrough because it's not always perfect. So if I open up this closet, I like this closet here underneath the stairs. It's about 10 feet deep and then it wraps around the corner and you have a, a, co a little coat hanger there as well. Now let's cruise upstairs and then I'm gonna come back down and show you guys the garage and the bonus room. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about the differences between a, like what makes the difference between a bonus room and a bedroom and what classifies as a bedroom here in the state of Idaho. So when I come up these stairs, what I notice straight ahead is the floor plan up here is great. So I'm gonna spin around and show you guys the configuration here. So dead ahead is the primary, laundry, linen closet, bedrooms four, bedrooms three, bonus space, bedrooms two. So I kind of went in reverse. So this landing space up here could be used as an office, entertainment space, throw in some bean bags, some couches, whatever it may be. It's about 10 feet wide, I'd say, by about 10 feet to that edge. It's a nice square. However, it does extend out quite a ways over here, probably another four feet. So it's probably a 14 by 10 foot space, plenty of room for whatever you want. But spinning around here, the laundry room, and then I'll pop into the primary. People keep asking what's behind this door here. It's the heating system. There's not really enough space in there to store anything. However, I, in my last house, I used to store my bike and my golf clubs. So here's a feature that you guys may want to look at in the future is this vent system. So the vent system is tucked in behind the wall so you can push your laundry all the way back and have more room. I think that's a great adjustment that the builders have been making out here. And then the vent system up there, you don't ever want moisture in your guys' areas that are you know, running water. So the, you know, when you're drying clothes, it's hot moist air going in, it needs to get vented out. So let's cruise into the primary here. This primary off the bat is massive. This primary bedroom is about 18 by 16 feet. You have your uh, ceiling fan. Now this is a good room for us to really get a good look at the backyard and see how big it is. But this lot I'm guessing is about 10,000 square feet. And you can see right there, there's a pole. That's the uh, edge of the yard and it's really spacious. It's not finished. Like I said, this builder does not finish the yards or the fencing. And that's something we have to negotiate, which we can do. Now you can see out there, it's Foothills Views. It's a beautiful day out. So when I spin around, you'll see that's the primary bathroom as well as the closet at the end of the hall. This whole room, bathroom and closet is the entire length of the home. So it's absolutely, it's, it's just, it's massive. So you have your carpet into luxury vinyl plank flooring, back into the closet with carpet. Right off the bat, you got your water closet here. You have your dual vanity sinks, which I'm gonna get your guys' question on here in a minute, or we'll get your thoughts on what you think about something here. And then you have your insert shower with you have two ledges, glass doors. And when it comes to these inserts, I, I'm curious to know, is do you feel that tile showers is mandatory or are you fine with the inserts? A lot of people that we work with say that they like, they, that they're fine either way, but they also say that the tile or these inserts are a lot easier to clean. I'd love to know your, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment box, but here, let's test these and make sure they're soft clothes like the kitchen. Boom, yes, soft clothes there. Soft clothes. Now, these drawer configurations is something that I pay attention to. The reason why is because most homes have four, boom, 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 and they're all shallow. So if I put my hand in here, it barely goes down. Now, if you have hair supplies, it's gonna get knocked over. Guys probably don't care as much, but if you look at this one, it's really deep. So if you're someone that cares about drawers, which ones do you guys like? Do you like the shallow ones or do you like the deep ones? Personally, I like the deep ones. So you have your dual vanities and then to the right, you have a closet for linens. And I remember when these built-ins used to be an upgrade, but these are now standard. And then on this side, you have an exposed linen shelving. And like I said, this used to pretty much be an upgrade, but now they're building it standard in all these houses. And then this primary closet is stunning. You have the side on the left here, you got your hangers. And if I spun you guys around, 
you have more built-ins. This closet is massive. I can't even touch it from side to side. It's probably 10 by 12. And then out your window here, you have beautiful foothills views, beautiful foothills views. And those houses, you got some pretty good distance in between you and those houses. So every morning you'd drink your cup of coffee, get ready and be looking at those magnificent views. Now let's go back downtown, back downstairs, downtown. Let's go back downstairs and I'm gonna walk you through the garage and the bonus room. But before I do, let me show you what a couple of these bedrooms look like. This is bedroom four, or sorry, bedroom two. And this is bedroom three over here. And these are sizable rooms. The closets are standard. There's no built-ins in there. It's got the Santa Fe texture on the walls. This powder bath has got the modern cabinets. Let's see, soft clothes. Yes, it does. Luxury vinyl plank flooring, bathtub. And in this bedroom here, once again, grid, grid lined windows. This is their most expensive home that they offer. So it's got all of the potential upgrades and features you could see in this builder. These are all spec homes. So you can't come in and do any custom builds. They're already all predetermined. So we would just have to find the house and the features that you're looking for and the location. And we have a great relationship with this builder and they would be able to fill us in on all that. And we can help you find it. So this is the powder bath here. You just have a sink and a toilet. And here's the bonus room. So this bonus room is big. It's probably 10 by 11, 10 by 12. Spin you around here. And here's the thing. People always ask us, well, this, can this room be classified as a closet or a bedroom? And the answer is yes, it does not need a closet. The building standard says here in Idaho and most states in America now, is that a, a, to be classified as a bedroom is you need a heat source, which this has two forms of egress, one to the exterior, one to the interior. So this home does have an egress window. An egress window has to be a minimum now of 24 inches off the ground and no higher than 44 inches high. So you're basically running into a gap between 44 and 24. And that just changed because they want the windows off the ground now, not to the ground because of accidents. And the window has to be a minimum size of 20 by 24 inch. Now, if there was a door there, a door would classify as an egress point as well to the exterior. Now, you also have to have your form of egress to the exterior. The ceiling height also has to be at least seven feet tall and the diameter needs to be a, uh, the square footage. I think it's 50 square feet have to be at least seven feet tall to be classified as a bedroom. Don't quote me on that specific fact, but I think that's what it is. Anyways, this one checks all the boxes. You could classify it as a bedroom, I would probably just use it as a bonus room or an office and call it that. Now, that's what this builder does too. They're not trying to say it's a five bedroom. They're saying it's a four bedroom plus a bonus plus that landing area. So when I come out into the garage, this is the one feature that I was saying that I, it drives me crazy when builders don't install garage door openers, but they got two here. <clears throat> you got your lights, it's unfinished. That means the sheetrock is up, but it's not painted. You could always do that if you wanted. It's got both garage door openers installed. And over here, you got your hot water heater and you are preset for a water softener system because we do have hard water. You're definitely gonna wanna get a water, a water softener system, which we got ours at Costco and we love it. Now you got a lot of outlets out here and this side is a little extra deep because the garage door is set back. And the reason they do this is because if you have a long truck like I do, you gotta back up a little bit so you get that extra space on the third bay. Now, you can put in a fridge out here, lots of different options, but let's look at the electrical panel because people always ask us, is there extra spots in the panel to add more things? And the answer is yes. There's lots of spaces up here. This is super clean. Um, they did a great job in this house. And the lighting in here is also the can lights, which is nice. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the fluorescent drop downs because if you're trying to do something that's tall or you're trying to change those things, it's just very difficult and these ones will last forever. Not forever, but for a very long time. So what do you guys think of this house? And I'm really excited to jump in the car with Rachel and talk to you guys about the price and the taxes. Once again, if you guys love this floor plan, but you don't like this area or community, that's perfectly fine because this builder is building these houses all over the valley and we can find you that perfect location. This community specifically has a pool and a playground some of their sites only have playgrounds and they do have one location that has a pool, pickleball courts, and a lot of fun activities. And that one's in a 20 year build cycle. So it's gonna be built, building out forever. So there's gonna be lots of available inventory. So right now I'm gonna jump in the car with Rachel and talk to you guys about pricing. So 
I will see you in a second. As promised, we've got the prices on these homes as well as the taxes and the taxes are where the especially good news come in. Yeah, so Rachel took you through that first house. It was a single level home, four bedrooms, two bath, a little over 2000 square feet. And the price on that house, drum roll please, $484,900. Now the taxes on that property is what really shocked me. The t property taxes on that house were $2,200. $2,200, where I came from, the property taxes would have been at least $6,000 a year. So the price point, in my opinion, is phenomenal, and the taxes are even better. Now, that's with homestead exemption. So here in the state of Idaho, if it's a single, your primary residence, you can deduct $125,000 off the purchase price, and that's what they, the tax rate comes based on. Now, the second home that we showed you guys, oh, one last thing is that the builder on that house specifically was offering an incentive of $20,000 in upgrades. That could be applied towards the landscaping, washer, dryer, fridge, uh, blinds, everything that you need to move in and call it home today. So moving on to the second house that we call the baller house, that house, as you guys remembered, was four beds plus a bonus, plus the office area, over 2,500 square feet, two and a half bath, and guess how much the incentive was on this house? $35,000 incentive. That means the sales price of this house was $545,000. Can you believe that? A brand new construction house priced at $545 with $35,000 incentives is saving you an, an astronomical amount of money and the taxes on that home with the homestead exemption was right under $2,500. Now, if it was an investment property, that gets rid of the exemption, so the property tax on that house would be about $3,300. We wanna know right now, down in the comments, what house do you think was more for you? The single family home at 484.9 or the two level home that was priced at 545? It doesn't matter which house that you're looking to get, this area has a lot of them available. Also, if you don't like this area specifically and you just love the floor plan, you'd like to find it somewhere else, all you have to do is reach out to us. We are helping a lot of clients in the Treasure Valley find the floor plan that they love and the community that they love. Till the next video, be blessed.